Hi everyone, this is Karen Hightower, design team member over at Stamp TV for Gina K Designs. Today I'm going to share with you this gift bag project with a matching tag. I really enjoy making gift bags um, and decorating them up along with the tag to match. So let me show you everything I used and then we'll get started. I did use the new Stamp TV kit Home for the Holidays from Gina K Designs to create this project. The stamps I used out of that kit is this big old stamp, it's a background stamp of sheet music, uh, which you can see I used on the tag and on the big focal panel. The stamp set Christmas Magic out of the kit. Um, I will be using the to and from on the tag. I also have the Christmas Greenery that I'll be using the trees, the holly leaf, these pine sprigs and some berries. And then for the greeting, my big old Merry Christmas, I'll be using the incentive set. Um, I use the Merry Christmas and you can see it's very large. This is the Holly Jolly stamp set. Also, I will be using Gina K Designs, premium dye inks and dark chocolate, warm cocoa, craft, red velvet, dark sage, fresh asparagus, and jelly bean green. Those will be the colors we'll be stamping in. Then I have all my stamps already mounted on blocks. Um, I'll be using my Cutter B scissors. Also, I'll be doing some shadows under the trees with my Spectrum Norm IG 4 and 5. And then I also have Gina K Designs Twisted Twine in the dark chocolate. I love the also for my tag, you can use store-bought tags, um, and you can also use the dies. There's many, many dies out there for cutting tags. They're so easy to make, and I'll show you how real quick. How I do it is I take a piece of Gina K's Heavy Base cardstock. You can use a colored cardstock. For this one, I use the Heavy Base White. I cut it down the middle so I have two four and a quarter by 11 inch long pieces. Out of this, you can get 10 tags. After you cut it like that, then you turn it and you cut it every two and one eighth of an inch. And it leaves you with just like maybe a half inch waste on the end. And you get 10 tags out of one sheet of paper. So also what I did, I'm gonna use this one. Let me cut this real quick. On this hole punch, on the store-bought one I measured from here to the center is a half inch. So I took my hole punch and I centered from the center of the hole back and I marked it a half an inch. So you can probably see the little sharpie mark in there, I hope. Anyway, so what I do is once I get my corners punched, I just eyeball. I put it where the little mark is and then you have your tag. Okay, so we'll use that one. I also have a piece that we're gonna use for our panel. It is four and four quarters by six and a half long. I'm going to get out the craft ink and my new sponge dauber. Ink it up. I'm going to go just around the edges. We're gonna go around the edges here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the music note and I'm going to ink this up. Okay. And you can turn this over and stamp it or you can lay the cardstock on it. I like to turn it over and stamp it and then flip it. I don't know. How, if you have a misty, you can do that. That way you make sure you get all of it. I am going to turn this sideways so I can hold the stamp like this and see it better. So you just want to center it. And if you get it off a little, that's okay. You're going to be stamping other stuff. This is very forgiving. So you can turn it over and rub it. That way it picks up. Make sure you get all that ink on there. Okay. Let's get some more craft. And this tag isn't that big, so I'm only going to ink up one side. Okay. 
this I will lay down. That way I don't have to pick the big old stamp up. Get my tweezers here. There we go. Just to darken it just a little. And then after you get your images stamped on there, if you want more color in the center, then you can go back and sponge on some more craft. And you can, if you don't want the extra ink like feathered here, you can just pick this up and, and it, it's a little more concentrated on the edge, but however you want to do it, it works. There we go. Then we are going to stamp our trees in the fresh asparagus. And I'm going to ink up these trees really well. And then I'm going to stamp them just where the bottom of the little trees sit, kind of on that last line of music. we go and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my tag now you can stamp this where you have all three of them on there like one and then half of each of the other you can do it lower you can do it off to the side how whatever you want to do however you decide you want to see your trees on there and come up real good and I think I'm going to do it like this. And then I'll... Okay, so I'm going to ink up this last tree. And I'm using this tag as a mask so I don't get ink. And I'm going to stamp it off. So I have a tree lighter, so it looks like it's feather away. So now we're going to add some of the pine branches. So this is fresh asparagus. One there. One there. Maybe one off this way. Do one here. I just want a little cluster here and a bigger one over here. So we'll see what we can do. One, two, three, four. Then let's switch to jelly bean green. I'll clean off my stamp. I have to make sure where I put them because they're so small. I don't want to lose them. <laughs> I've lost a few little stamps doing that, laying them down and not knowing where I've put them. Okay, so we're going to add some light little branches. So it's coming right along. So we have the pine done. Let's do the little holly leaf. And then I'm going to do jelly bean green and dark sage. I like the color it gives you. And you can see the dark where you add it. Okay, so one there. And I'm going to clean the stamp off in between each stamp to you know after I stamp it because I don't want it to uh, contaminate the jelly bean green with the dark sage ink pad we're done with the jelly bean green and the dark sage and we need the red velvet okay so let's put down
these, you can just put them wherever you want. Let me stamp the to and from. I'm going to stamp it in dark chocolate on the tag. Okay, let's ink up this real well. Since I'm not using my Misty, I'm going to put lots of ink on there. I'm going to huff on it and give it extra moisture. And put it down. Let it absorb all that ink. I don't take any chances. <laughs> After doing all the work, I want to make sure all that ink is going to absorb. That was the four. This is the five. Now we can add Wink of Stella. You can add Bling. You can do it however you want. So we'll tie a bow. Okay. So, now, if you decide, oh, I want to scoot that over, whatever, this is what I do. I kind of curl the paper up to where all my strings are loose, slide them, and then straighten them back out. I'm sure a lot of y'all do that. If not, hey, you learn something new. <laughs> so, we'll put this through. I do have a piece of fun foam you pick up at the crafty kids crafty sections or something of the craft stores and then I'll just put some tape runner on it but I'm also going around the edges with my foam squares okay, then I'll just take this Loop it around. Tie it. Of course, you can make it as long or short on there as you want. If you want to add bling, you can add some bling on there. I hope you have enjoyed the video today. And I enjoyed making it. Because I love making these bags and tags. So, I just put some right here by the to and from. That is the finished card project and I will show you the other ones that I have made look this one was made with the made from love stamp and set I also did this one with layered uh, lots of the pattern paper from the new home from the holiday uh, kit and so I've got the papers layered on there and then the little house and this is supposed to be Christmas trees that I cut and made a banner out of so they're really fun to do, and you can make them for anything. So, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel, and have a wonderful day. And come see us over at Stamp TV. Thank you so much.